welcome to Lagoons Do It Better TV, where we provide bite-sized segments to help your lagoon do it better. My name is Patrick Hill. I'm one of the founders here at Triple Point, and today I want to talk about the advantages of lagoon systems for industrial wastewater treatment. Unlike a municipal type application where the waste loading coming into a wastewater plant tends to be fairly steady all the time or very predictable, with industries, what we found with the dozens of industries we've worked with is that there could be massive fluctuations in both the flow, the waste loading constituents that get into the lagoon, the temperature, the pH, all of these things. And that can create really, really huge shocks on a wastewater treatment process. And so a lot of industries that look at, let's say mechanical plant, typical mechanical plant for wastewater treatment will have three or four hours of hydraulic retention time. A typical lagoon system will have, you know, 15 to 30 days of retention time. And so what that means is that these differences and fluctuations and loads and temperature and pH, all these things don't have as big of an impact on the overall volume of the lagoon and the lagoon's ability to treat the wastewater as you would have in a mechanical plant, right? So to give you an example, we were working with an industry one time and they had a mechanical type wastewater treatment facility, right? They had an SBR or some kind of activated sludge plant. And one day it just so happened that they were doing a cleaning cycle on one part of their process. And that the other side of their process that they were doing wasn't operational. They were put, it was down for maintenance. So what they did was they did the cost of cleaning cycle into the SBR system. The SBR system then quickly died. All the bugs died within the system itself because the pH got all jacked up. It killed all the, the biomass. Luckily, in this case, the industry had an emergency tank that they were able to pump this water from. But if they didn't have an emergency tank or if they couldn't reseed the reactor fast enough, they'd end up discharging water that was not compliant with their permit and ultimately getting a violation and potentially uh, having odor issues, some, some bad press in the news and so on. Now, if this industry would have had a lagoon system, they could have weathered that storm quite easily because the lagoon has so much water, it acts as its own equalization basin and you just have so much more buffer to work with, right? From a treatment capacity point of view. So I'd say that's the number one thing with lagoons, but notwithstanding, there are some other major, major benefits to using lagoons in, in industrial wastewater treatment. The other one is they're way, way less expensive to build. So your capex goes down significantly. You do need some land. They take up more space than a mechanical plant does, but there's not all these concrete tanks, all these mechanical pieces of equipment that you have to purchase. You're literally digging a hole in the ground, lining it, pumping water to it, aerating and mixing it. And it kind of does its thing and it does its thing relatively consistently and relatively well. So that's huge, right? It saves you money in the process. The second thing is because you don't have all these mechanical pieces of equipment, your operating expenses are way less, right? You need less operator certification. You need less sophisticated operations. You have less mechanical pieces of equipment to maintain uh, and so on and so forth. And so your operating expense has to be far, far less. So if you're thinking about upgrading your system and you have an existing lagoon, you can usually upgrade that existing lagoon to meet the extra capacity that you need. Or if you're looking at a potentially mechanical plant and you have some land in order to build a lagoon system, you should look at a lagoon. In either case, here at Triple Point, this is what we do. We can help you evaluate that, help you evaluate how to increase capacity, help you evaluate how to build a brand new system. We've done both of those things and do it successfully. And you could end up with a way, way better wastewater treatment facility if you would have had a mechanical system. So if you like this content, Go to our website, lagoons.com. We have uh, obviously our technologies and our contact us if you're interested. Otherwise, you just want to learn more about Lagoons. We have an awesome blog with hundreds of articles on it. Subscribe to this video on YouTube. There's lots of great YouTube videos that we've done here on aeration, on nitrification if you need to meet an ammonia limit, on other industrial topics if you need them. We have a Facebook group where we have over 750 operators. Uh, you can post a question on there, see what other operators have done, some industrial, some municipal, but the, you'll get some good feedback there. And finally, we have our online learning platform, which you can get on our resource 
tab on our website where you can watch hour-long modules on every manner of Lagoon topic uh, to learn more about Lagoons. So I hope you find this informative. Please uh, subscribe to us and uh, we'll see you next time.